Knifeaholics from around the world, welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. I am Aaron, your host, and we are going to jump into a review and field test on the new for 2014 Schrade SCH A5. That's what we're looking at here today. This is the A5BR. That's the brown handled model is what that means. We're gonna go ahead and take this thing out, just do some basic EDC tasks around the home, cutting some rope, cardboard, doing some little whittling and carving, just basic stuff you'd be doing with this blade and see if this overall design, new for 2014 from Schrade, is worth a purchase for you. So let's go ahead, get out there and begin to check out the Schrade SCH A5. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the blade here on the SCHA5. I just want to kind of give you a couple of basic specs and my overall feel of the actual cutting edge. This is OS8 steel, which is awesome. I'm really glad that Schrade isn't just using Chinese steels, that they are using some OS8. I love OS8, and I definitely would prefer it over almost any other Chinese steel, so that's awesome. So got OS8. You know, when you throw that name around, it automatically has a good connotation with it. You know, we know so many good budget knives with that type of steel from the rat models, rat model one, rat model two, uh, you know, SOG. So OS8 is a great steel for budget knives. This is the black coated model that I have here before us. The cutting edge is 3.3 inches. So that's great, gonna give you some really good reach. And it has almost a full flat grind. It is a saber grind, but it starts all the way up here, very, very high, which means it's gonna be a fantastic slicer of food, man-made materials, cardboard, that type of stuff. Just the blade design really lends itself to be a great slicer with an awesome amount of belly here. That's really good belly on this blade. And then I love that clip point design that they've kind of given you there. So it's going to give you good stab stabbing capabilities and kind of get into whatever you need to, you know, cut into, but at the same time, I'm going to give you that awesome amount of belly for slicing. And then they got that unsharpened swedge right up here, which, uh, you know, alleviates a little bit of the weight. So not too bad there. Um, you know, that's gonna make it difficult for those of you with maybe say uh, an Edge Pro Apex or a Lansky sharpener. Not gonna be necessarily the easiest to resharpen because it's gonna be really hard to clamp onto something with that unsharpened swedge that goes back up to the top. But uh, you know, for me with my Spyderco Sharp Maker, it works great. And uh, this Ossie is holding a good edge with all the use that we've been putting this blade through. So the blade design itself is real nice and I love the Ossie that they're giving us on the SCHA5. All right, so here you are with the A5. We're gonna do a little bit of cardboard cutting with it. It does a great job. I've already done some other cardboard cutting and I can tell you that it just is really, really nice with that almost full flat grind. Uh, you know, really, really high saber grind. Really nice relief edge as well. Just makes it extremely easy to slice through that cardboard. So for those type of EDC tasks, the A5, going to just cut like a breeze and go through this cardboard like butter and that OS A is going to hold a great edge. So for EDC cardboard cutting, the blade design is awesome and just going to do a great job with that great amount of belly and that almost full flat grind. All right, let's go ahead and do a little rope cutting here with the Schrade SCH A5. This is the plain edge model. Oh yeah, you can see how well that just went right through there with that full flat grind almost, that saber grind. Awesome, real good cutter of man-made materials, real nice. You can get this with serrations if you so desire. I don't think you need it. I think that plain edge is gonna do awesome and I always prefer plain edge. Just easier to maintain than trying to find a, a sharpener to do the little serrations and all that jazz. But uh, really like the overall cutting capabilities of the blade great amount of belly and is just going to go th straight through your heavy duty nylon rope, paracord, and man-made materials. Nice. So again, the blade design on the A5 is really nice for slicing, cutting, cardboard, wood, man-made materials, you name it. It's going to do a really good job with that with really no complaints by me on the cutting capabilities of this knife. Really nice. I can get really good carving and shaving done with this piece of wood here when I'm holding this knife. But as you're about to see in just a moment as we're talking, the, the ergonomics on the handle are just a little off to me. Um, I don't really know why. 
Uh, it just it's designed really well to kind of fit your hand, but at such a weird aggressive angle We'll talk about it more in just a second. It's just not really feeling comfortable as I'm cutting I can't just get the quite type of leverage that I would get with just a normal knife say like a cold steel recon one or lawman or my uh, You know bench made or something like that. I'm just not getting quite the the ability that I could with the handle design. So if this was kind of more of a straighter handle, I think I would have liked it more. The blade is doing awesome with this wood, but uh, the handle is just kind of cramping my wrist a little bit as I cut. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the handle here on the knife. This one happens to be coated brown. You can get it coated black as well. This one, you can see that when you open it up, it has a very distinct you know, drop angle to it to kind of help. The idea with that is to go right along with your thumb right there and fit really nice and ergonomic in your hand. There's a really nice kind of finger guard right there where your index finger sits. No jimping or anything like that, but a really nice just flat platform there for your thumb. And then some uh, kind of like skateboard tape, very similar to kind of like the stuff you would get on a Kershaw Blur. You know, something kind of like that, kind of a rubberized texture right there. My whole hand is grabbing onto it. It's definitely different. You know, I like kind of the original style, you know, of pocket knives, just a straight handle. Uh, I, I'm not really... I'm not sold on it. It's not bad. It's very ergonomic in my hand, regardless if I'm holding it that way or if I'm holding it in a reverse grip. So there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. It's just kind of different. The other thing to note as well is that this handle is very thick. I just want to show you, you know, the Rat Model 1 from Ontario is a pretty beefy, thick knife. And uh, I just want to show this to you on screen you can see there that there's definitely about uh definitely three sixteenths of an inch thicker on the shade than it is on the rat so this is definitely kind of a, a brick in your pocket you definitely know it's there takes up some space pretty wide pretty thick uh, so that is something that i'm not necessarily digging either is how big and bulky this is the profile of it in your pocket so this charade has an open assisted feature, so we're going to look at the deployment. They call it their magic system. It has a safety, you can see right here, when it's blacked out, it will not deploy regardless if you're using the finger flipper that they give you or the thumb studs. Then if you move it back, now you see a little red dot, red is dead. You have a little flipper up here, boom, whips open really fast like magic. Or with thumb studs that are both very easy to to grab their ambidextrous thumb studs on either side. Now something you can see here, I use the thumb studs and this little plastic lever that acts as the flipper is not attached to the blade. It's not part of the blade, it's just a little extra little piece of plastic that does not go down unless you use it so that you can just push it down and out of the way. Now there it is. Maybe if you did some WD-40 you know, or something like that, uh, it might you know, loosen up a little bit and go down with the knife. So if I use it like this, boom, whips open really fast and it's gone and hidden, but if I use the thumb studs, just stays up. You can see there a little tiny shark fin sticking out. But uh, very fast, so that, that is a little bit annoying, uh, but if you played with that, I'm sure a little bit, like I said, with WD-40 or something, I'm sure that would get fixed. But very fast deployment, very nice, good deployment and good centering. I don't know if you can see that there. There we go. Perfect dead centered as well, so I like that a lot. So a really fast, nice, good deployment on the shrade. Okay, so here's the pocket clip. Really nice, very low profile. You got a good lanyard hole as well. You could get 550 paracord through, but you know, very unobtrusive, blacked out pocket clip. Like that a lot. Then you can just grab it, pull it out, deploy it, close it back up, one-handed, slide it back into place. And that aluminum handle will not, you know, thrash your pocket because there's zero traction on it on the sides. So that's really good. It's not going to damage your pocket. It is tip up, which I love. I'm glad for that. I hope Shrade does that with more of their pocket knives in the future. But it is only right-handed. There is nothing there for a lefty. So something to note. But uh, overall, for righties, great little pocket clip. Nothing to complain about there. All right. Just want to give you guys uh, some competitive options here. Just kind of show you what I'm rating this Shrade SEHA5 up against. And what we have here for steels are almost all OS 8. We have one that's the Sandvik steel. So we'll start with that. The Kershaw piston is going to run you about 50 bucks. Again, the A5 is going to run you probably around 40. Now, there are some more blade options that you're getting with the uh, A5. You know, you can get the black or a satin coatings. You can get serrations or not. The 
um, piston only comes with the plain edge satin, so you do get some other blade options there. But uh, both are open assist. This one's a much better blade, in my opinion. You're going to get a better seal with, steel with that Sandvik steel. Uh, great lockup, great you know open assist deployment. A little bit longer blade at 3.5 inches, and it's going to weigh less. It's going to weigh, uh, I believe, 4.7, I believe, or 4.6 uh, ounces for this one. So this one's going to be a little less, and again, that more you know normal handle design it's just going to feel better in my hand and uh, that's just kind of again my preference i don't hold any punches here at gideon's tactical this is what i prefer i don't prefer this handle design and it's going to weigh less and it's going to cost only about ten dollars more open assist and the better steel we have here the sog mini aegis this is a great blade going to be almost the exact same price uh, and this weighs two ounces again the os 8 not quite as large a blade so this will be a little bit more hard use i believe the a5 by Schrade will be a little bit more hard use than the mini aegis but again same price point and i would totally take the aegis any day of the week for my edc over the a5 just because of how thick big and bulky it is and then down here we have the recon mini recon one os 8 again uh, and that one's going to run you probably around 40 45 bucks depending on who what, when, where, why, and again, uh, weighs 3.6 ounces, so a lot less than this one, just a little bit shorter blade. So there's just some kind of things that I'm rating this A5 up against, and I would take any of these over the A5. They're thinner, they weigh less, and they either have the same steel or even better steel for right around the same price point. So that's just kind of my opinion on the Schrade SCH A5. Uh, not really home run, guys. I wouldn't recommend it. Too big, too thick, too bulky. Um, you know, uh, if you really like that kind of design, you want to try out a new blade from Schrade, sure, knock yourself out. The quality is there. It's just the design really isn't there for me on particularly the handle and how thick it is and how heavy it is. For my everyday carry uses, I'm just not really a big fan of the A5 from Schrade. Hope this review has helped you guys out. Thanks so much for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.